Have you ever wondered what you can do with your marked comprehension close worksheets? Here are three tips on how to revise by using them. 1. Organize passages by themes, keeping the topic in mind before proceeding to answer. File close passages based on their themes or text types, such as narratives, biographies, or newspaper reports. You can further categorize them into specific topics like animals, environment, people, etc. This way, during revision, it will be easier for you to find relevant words and phrases related to a certain theme, assisting you greatly. 2. Identify common mistakes. Start by comparing several completed closed passages to identify the recurring types of errors you make. For instance, if you struggle with connector words, pay close attention to the clues surrounding the blank with the connector word. Recognizing these patterns will allow you to be more aware of what to pay attention to in future passages. 3. Note down words that are commonly used together. Focus on being able to recognize fixed phrases such as idioms, phrasal verbs, and collocations, as they often appear in comprehension closed passages. When revising, jot down the entire phrase along with its meaning. Doing so will increase your understanding of word combinations. Additionally, these phrases this may appear in grammar or vocabulary multiple choice questions, assisting in your child's overall English revision. Alright, that's all I have for you today. Remember, if you put in the hard work to revise, you will definitely see noticeable improvement. Good luck!